Hi guys and welcome back. So today I'm going to be showing you how to make these batons. Let's begin. To start on the recipe you'll want to grab yourself a large mixing bowl and into the bowl place your flour and your salt and give them a good whisk together just to combine the two. You can then go ahead and add in the yeast and the water and mix it on a low speed for 2 minutes followed by 4 minutes on a medium high speed. A clear dough should be formed. Once your dough is done, you can then take some flour and flour your surface with a good amount. Place the dough onto it and just give it a brief knead until it's smooth and elastic. It doesn't take very much kneading as this dough is pretty good. Just give it a brief knead to incorporate a bit of flour to help make it smooth and more elastic. Then you can place it into a lightly oiled bowl and cover the bowl with cling film and leave it somewhere warm for roughly around an hour. Once the dough has doubled in size, you will then want to knock it back, but first don't forget to flour your surface and then knock the dough back. This is just the process of removing the gases that are built up during the proof. Then you can take it and divide it by three so you get three equal amounts of dough. I recommend using digital scales to get more accurate. Just round them off into a ball shape and cover them for around five to ten minutes. You will then want to roll it out into a long sausage shape, roughly the same size as your baton tray. Try not to make them too long otherwise they won't fit on and you can't really put these onto a standard baking tray. Place them into your baton tray, cover with cling film and leave to proof for around 30 to 45 minutes or until they have proofed up very well. Once the second proof is done, you can take the cling film off of the batons and then get a sharp serrated knife and just cut three slashes onto the top of each one and then bake them off. All of that information will be in the blog post which will be linked down below and then hear what they look like once they are fully baked and cooled down. So thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for more from me. And I'll be back again on Thursday with another video, so join me then. But in the meanwhile, don't forget to check out the description. There'll be a link to this recipe, a link to my blog and all of my social media. So don't forget to go and follow me over on there. I post on Instagram more than anything, but yeah, don't forget, go and check them out. And that's it for today. Bye guys.